Lit Happens, your celebration of literary arts in Saskatchewan. Today I'm very pleased to welcome back Marion Matella. Marion, welcome back to the show. Well, thank you very much, and Diakuyu, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be on Lit Happens. Excellent. Well, you have a very interesting project that's sort of ongoing, but you had a launch for, your, for a new book, and it's a little different than some of the other things that you've done. Yes, it is. It's, it's actually a little quite different because um, it's my book for charity. And uh, I launched it last November, and Happy Leopard Chapbooks made it. Uh, Kate Hudson and also uh, Beth Let Matheson did the calligraphy on my book. And it's called The Time for Peace is Now. And peace is a topic that I'm very passionate about. It's very good for the environment. But I believe strongly that most people in the world want peace. And it's a, it's a very small book with a great big message. It is, it is. It's a, an important message. And um, I wouldn't mind reading a little bit from it, if you don't mind. The time for peace is now. Now is the time for peace. Flowers bloom for it. Birds croon for it. Animals reproduce for it. Trees sway for it. The sun shines for it. Mountains echo for it. The sky delights in it. The moon and the stars light up for it. Nature desires it. Life creates it. The time for peace is now. Now is the time for peace. The time for peace is now. Now is the time for peace. All creatures, big and small on earth, want it. Planets, people, animals, and creeds believe in it. Everywhere, every place, proclaim it. Peace. It is a simple thing. Simply one word, peace. Five letters, P-E-A-C-E. -E. Offer to everyone. Anyone can practice peace. The time for peace is now. Now is the time for peace. And that's the name of my book, too. So you've said that it's, a, it's your charity book. So can you tell, a little, tell us a little bit about that? What does that mean? So Happy Leopard Chat Books are located in Saskatoon. And what they do is every year they make a book for charity and they decided to make mine. And the author gets to pick the charity. And I pick NASHI. And NASHI is a Ukrainian organization, a grassroots organization that takes place in Saskatoon too. And what they do is they have built a maple leaf house in Ukraine and they try and stop human trafficking. And so um, Happy Leopard Chapbooks made 100 handmade copies of this book and we sold them for $20 each, and we raised $2,000 for NASHI. So that happened last November, and at my book launch, it was really unique, and we sold out all our copies. So I'm very pleased to say that it was a very successful launch. And I'm hoping other charities, if, if you have a charity that you're interested in and would like to make some paper copies of this book, we can use it and, and raise money for a specific charity. And so what, what's the background of this little book? Why? Why did you decide to do this? Well, I think peace is very important, and peace begins with each one of us. And so I think it's easy in the world to, to look at the world, and I, I have a simple philosophy, be kind. And I think it, that peace shouldn't be happening every day in the world, and so we need to find ways to promote peace. And so that's why I chose this topic. And I was a teacher for 30 years, and we did many uh, different peace projects. And one of them was this peace t-shirt here, Imagine World Peace. And another project we did was uh, the, uh, a poster we did about, if cows can do it, why can't humans? Uh, if you notice in the field, I am, I'm a farming background, uh, cows always get along and, and they're looking for ways to be peaceful in the field. So I think that if we practice what animals can do, maybe we'll have a better world. And the launch was different than your other launches. Can you just tell me a little bit more about the launch? Okay, so um, when I was writing this book, I was driving on McCurcher and I saw this mosque and they had a sign that said, love for all, hatred for none. And I was very curious about that. So I went into the mosque and I asked the imam there, uh, what's that all about? And they said their mosque, uh, it's the Amadea movement, and they have a motto called love for all, hatred for none. So I invited them and asked them if I could use their motto in the dedication in my book. And they said yes. And so he came and he was uh, um, 
leading our prayer that night. So it was a very unique experience. The whole Muslim community came out and promoted and supported our movement. So it was a very interesting launch. It was packed. <laughs> Well, and it's it's a very different project than your other projects. Now, Baba's Babushkas is your uh, very popular children's series. It is. And it's really, it kind of, it, it's special this year. Can you tell us why, why it's good to think about these stories again in this year? Well, I wrote a trilogy called Baba's Babushka, Magical Ukrainian Christmas, Easter and Wedding. And it's the story of Natalia, me, who's actually in the story, the little girl. And she was out playing in the snow in the first book. And a babushka lands on her head, swoops her up, takes her back to Ukraine, and she meets her baba, her grandmother. And her grandmother teaches her all the u unique Ukrainian traditions in the first book, the Christmas traditions, the second, the Easter, and the third book, the wedding. But uh, I don't know, Premier Brad Wall um, dedicated this year, 2016, for uh, Saskatchewan Ukrainians, or Ukrainians in Saskatchewan. And so it's a year to celebrate. And my books now, I, when I go out and speak in schools uh, or wherever I speak in community organization, I use them as tools to teach about my Ukrainian uh, heritage and culture. And I believe all people should find out their roots and find out what their culture is. And when you promote your culture and you teach others about your culture, it promotes peace. And that is one of my main messages now when I go out and speak. Uh, to audiences or to schools that we promote a message of peace. So all of my books have done very well and uh, I'm very, very pleased um, to share my Ukrainian heritage. My grandparents immigrated from Ukraine in 1912 and um, they're one of the first wave of immigration of Ukrainian people. So Ukrainian people have been here for 125 years so that is why we're celebrating 2016 as a year of Ukrainians in Saskatchewan. And what a wonderful way to tie it to your new book and the and the Nasha charity. Yeah. Now, so this book, it the the first run, the first 100 copies, they're all gone. But there is a possibility for more. What are some of the other things that you're working on right now? I'm actually working on a poetry book coming out called Ukrainian Daughters Dance in mm. 2016 in the fall. And it's sort of my memoirs through poetry. Uh, and again, talking about my Ukrainian heritage, because that's a big part of who I am. And also, I am working on uh, Kukum's babushka. Um, I don't know if you notice, uh, but the Aboriginal women wore babushkas, just like the Ukrainian women, so I'm wondering why. And I'm thinking that perhaps they traded, because I remember my grandmother and my mother saying that the Aboriginal people used to come and visit them on the farm. So I'm thinking that probably that's how they got their babushkas. They traded them back and forth. And so I'm inventing a little story around Kukum or Nukum's babushka and uh, the sort of the close relationship between the Aboriginal and the Ukrainian people. Uh, because I know uh, the Aboriginal people were the first people here and the reason some of the pioneers survived is because of the things the Aboriginal people taught them. So I'm using that in my book. I'm also working on another book called More Bubba's Please. Um, and uh, I think there's a shortage of Bubba's in the world because um, the Bubba's do a lot of good work in the world. And if we don't continue to have Bubba's in the world, then who's going to be doing all those baking and all the beautiful things <laughs> that Bubba's do? So uh, again, that's kind of inclusive because I'm listing not any Bubba's, but Kukums and grandmares and how important uh, grandmothers or mothers are to the world. And just teaching and sharing through through culture, through understanding, through that multi-generational link and, and always always building towards peace, I suppose. It is. And Oscar Romero said, without justice, there will be no peace. So justice and peace go hand in hand like bread and water. And I think a lot of people support that and believe that. And so I'm promoting that in our message. And I also would like to leave a quote from Jack Layton, too. In 2011, uh, he passed away. But before he did, he wrote this beautiful quote. Uh, he said, my friends, love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic, and we'll change the world. And so I'm hoping with my peace book and all my books that uh, we can change the world. And I think we can. It starts with us. And if we do something, Mother Teresa said it's the little things we do with love that are important. So every day I try and do something little uh, in the world to make it a better place.
Well, words are powerful, and it's, uh, it's great that you've taken that power for good. Yes. So thank you, Marion. This is Marion Mattella. Her books are available at McNally Robinson and do you have Indigo a and Coles and www.babasbabushka.ca. And also, all four of my books are e-books now, too, so you can look them up on my website or any of the, the places where you can get e-books. Thank you. Thank you, Marion. Thank you for watching Lit Happens. My name is Danica Lore. You can find other episodes of Lit Happens on Shaw TV Saskatoon on YouTube. See you again.